You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained today, the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Karim Zimik and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of a country's diversity. Let's begin the show with the Gira waterfall of Gujarat, which is endowed with implausible natural beauty. Known as the Cherapunchi of Gujarat, this waterfall is one of the most picturesque sites in the state and is frequented by a number of tourists every day. Situated in a verdant setting near Satpura Hill Station, Gira waterfall is a beautiful seasonal cascade in Dang district of Gujarat. Also known as the Niagara of the state, the waterfall is formed after it emerges from Kapri tributary and falls from 75 feet high cliff dropping into Ambika river. The speed of water plunging into the river creates a foggy look giving a charming feel. Gradually, the waterfall is developing into a popular picnic spot that attracts a number of tourists who are looking for a respite from their daily life. At present, one can find a lot of rush at the place as people who were restricted to their homes for a prolonged period of time are now flocking to areas set amidst lush greenery. लॉकडाउन के बाद पहली बार है सो काफी भीड़ भी है इधर और बहुत सारे लोग इधर विजिट करने बहुत ही सुंदर वातावरण है और सबको ये पसंद आएगा दो साल से सब लोग घर में ऐसे ही बैठे रहेंगे तो अभी एक साथ छुट्टी मिल गया तो थोड़ा सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग का तो दिक्कत रहता ही है थोड़ा सब सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग भूल जाते हैं पर सही से कर रहे हैं Gira waterfall can be reached via jeep ride which is available for hire but they are only allowed to a point which is 1 km away. Around the waterfall there are a number of small stalls set up by the tribal artists who sell their traditional arts and handicrafts. One can also grab a quick bite from the eateries present near the fall. Vendors are happy with the upliftment of restrictions as now they are making a good business. Lockdown is good now. It was very bad before. In the lockdown, it was bad, so there was no money. Now it's good. Now it's good. Owing to the nature of its landmass, which is coupled up with lush green surrounding, Gujarat has an impressive collection of picturesque waterfalls that can put all your stress at bay. Brotherhood, compassion for each other and unity, it is due to qualities like these that India stands united and unbreakable even in the most difficult of times. A similar example of brotherhood was seen in Udhampur district of Jammu and Kashmir where people of different castes and communities gathered for the Tawi Darshan Fair. Take a look. Bounded by the thread of compassion, tolerance, brotherhood and the feeling of oneness, Dudu village in Udhampur district of Jammu and Kashmir displayed the true signs of communal harmony as the people, irrespective of their caste and religion, gathered on the banks of Tavi River for Tavi Darshan Fair. Organized by the Directorate of Tourism Jammu, the fair began with the grand ceremony of Tavi River that is hailed as the heavenly daughter of the Sun God. Though the fair included only the Hindu rituals, people from all communities eagerly participated in it, setting a beautiful example of peace and brotherhood. अभी जो हमने जो कार्यक्रम हमारा था वो तवी दर्शन का तवी नदी के लिए था पानी का कोई धर्म नहीं होता है वो सब तवी नदी सूर्यपुत्री वो सभी का प्यास बुझाएगी तो ये बहुत ही अच्छी संस्कृति है यहाँ की कि सारे लोग मिलजुल के रहते हैं और 
यहाँ के लोगों का प्रयास है और हमारा भी प्रयास है ये कार्य ऐसा ची, ऐसी चीज़ें आगे होती रहें और संस्कृति क्या समग्र होती है सारे लोग एक दूसरे से जुड़े होते हैं तो ये कार्यक्रम ऐसे ही आगे चलता रहे और ये संदेश देश में प्रदेश में फैले कि सारे लोग एक साथ एक जैसे एक होके रह सकते हैं Apart from religious ceremonies, various cultural events were also organized at this fair, which is rejoiced by people of all faiths. Applauding this step of tourism department, people, regardless of their religion, attended the event and said that this move will boost the tourism in the region following the development of the village. यहाँ मैं हिंदू मुसलमान सिख सब यक्षण रहते हैं इधर हर एक आदमी की अपनी बरादरी है हर एक आदमी अपनी बरादरी के साथ रहता है हमारा आना जाना यहाँ हिंदू का घर में हिंदू का मुस्लिम घर में ये इकट्ठे चलते हैं The Tavi River, which finds a conspicuous and reverent mention in the Indian ancient scriptures, is a symbol of humanity and peaceful coexistence of people in Jammu and Kashmir. Such steps taken by the government will not only reinforce people's belief in the secular fabric of the country, but will also help and preserve the natural beauty and cleanliness of the river. Now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. A paper mache artist based in India's northern Srinagar city of Jammu and Kashmir has painted the old map of the city, reminding people of the beauty and changes that the city has witnessed over the years. Makbul Jan, a renowned artist in Kashmir, has been working for more than two decades on preserving and cultivating different local art forms like fabric painting, paper mache, pottery, and many more. ये मेरा ख्याल आ गया कश्मीर नए पे जो सिटी का मैंने ये एक बुक पे देखा फिर मैंने सोचा मैं क्यों नहीं मैं कब्रे के ऊपर बनाऊँ पर कब्रे के ऊपर मैं कर रहा था काम मुझे 20 साल हो गए हैं कब्रे के ऊपर मैं कश्मीर हिंदी क्राफ्ट से फिर रजिस्ट्रेशन भी की कश्मीर फैब्रिक पेंटिंग ये अलग सा आर्ट था यहाँ कोई नहीं करता था ये यूजिंग अ फाइव बाई सेवन फीट फैब्रिक जान अटेम्प्टेड टू शो द लॉस्ट ब्यूटी ऑफ द ओल्ड सिटी इंक्लूडिंग द आइकॉनिक डल लेक झीलम रिवर एंड अदर टूरिस्ट अट्रैक्शन टू रिमाइंड द यंग जनरेशन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ प्रिजर्विंग द कल्चर ट्रेडिशन ऑफ कश्मीर एंड कंजर्विंग द एनवायरमेंट Jan who has been working on the map for the past year says he wants the map to be preserved in the Indian Parliament. Jab artisan koi cheez banata hai ye kis liye banata hai jab tourist yahan aa jayega ye khareedenge jab tourist yahan nahi aa jayega artisan ka bekar hai yahan jab market hi khatam ho jayega yahi main yaad dila raha hu Kashmir jahilum kya tha ye kya tha ye isliye maine ye socha ye main banaunga naya sir unko yaad dilaunga The art of the paper mache was highly favored by Mughal emperors of the 15th and 16th centuries. The unique craft involves the use of paper pulp to create artifacts painted by expert craftsmen with lifelike images of kingfishers, maple leaves and other motifs. Indian badminton player PV Sindhu won a bronze medal at the Tokyo Olympics a day after losing the crucial game for the top spot leaving her family ecstatic back home I told her you have given your best and no problem but concentrate today and just think that you are giving me a gift and play on the court so I am very happy very happy Sindhu won the medal today she played very well uh, extremely happy uh, because We missed the goal, but uh, this is also equivalent. <laughs> medal is medal. Sindhu defeated China's He Bingjiao 21-13-21-15 in badminton women's singles in the process of becoming the first Indian woman to win two individual medals at the Olympics and the fourth woman in the world to win a medal in two consecutive Olympics. Sindhu had lost a crucial game to Chinese Taipei's Tai Zhu Wing. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi congratulated her on Twitter on her win.
Tourist influx increased in Kargil Dras region of northern India near Pakistan and China border after relaxation in COVID-19 curbs. इसमें दरास वालों का बहुत एडवांटेज है सर और जो होटल्स से दरास में वो सब बहुत बढ़िया होटल्स बना हुआ है तो सब टूरेज यहाँ से स्टे करके सोनमार से आके यहाँ पे स्टे करके फिर आगे कारगिल के तरफ निकल जाते हैं वो लोग तो इससे कितना डेवलपमेंट इससे डेवलपमेंट तो बहुत ज़्यादा होगा सर काफ़ी होगा क्योंकि टूरेज अभी बहुत बढ़ रहा है एकदम कोविड खत्म होने की वजह से फिर बहुत ज़्यादा टूरिस्ट आ रहा है तो अभी कुछ बढ़िया हो रहा है सर एडवांटेज Kargil in Ladakh territory is one of the most visited tourist destinations for adventure lovers who ride motorcycles in the Himalayan hills. Yahan par main second time aaya hu. Ye bahut hi zyada beautiful place hai. Uh, jaise abhi to hum transit Ladakh se hoke Srinagar ja rahe hain. Uh, yahan ka har ek shehar, har ek kasba, har ek gaon ek khud ki alag hi beauty banaye rakhe hain. However, Tourism was on halt in the region owing to coronavirus restrictions. After easing of the curbs, tourists are approaching the region once again. India is a country where different communities reside in peace and harmony. Example of this harmonious existence could be seen in all parts of the country by certain acts of kindness performed by individuals and organizations. A similar example of kindness was recently seen in a small town in Karnataka where a Muslim man marries off a Hindu girl. Mehboob Masli is a resident of Vijaypura town in Karnataka. Respected and known for his social work all around his town, Masli's recent act of kindness has made him the apple of everyone's eye. Despite of being a Muslim, Masli married off an orphan Hindu girl Pooja to a Hindu groom in accordance with Hindu traditions. Pasho din ek bande na mande. Ili wale huduga da note nanda. A mani ko din antara. A mani padhati a huduga yaradu jati shame adan antara. Yaradu jati kudi auri ke kele din naan ondu magal saaki ni. Adu pardeshi ni muri wala da hakti ni niu saaki anta auri ke naan or request mar konde. Tadan antara aur hena do niu abu Muslim andro. वंदु हिंदू हुड़गी की बाढ़ कोटी रंग बढ़ का और उनके साकीरी सलीर रंग बढ़ का नम गों द रुपए कुड़ बैठ रही न्यू ऐन अदा नम कन्या कुड़ रही काई कन्या कुड़ रही ना मध्यु मार कोटी और तंदरो पूजा इज एन 18 ईयर ओल्ड गर्ल हु वाज ऑफ इन अ डिकेड अगो इट इज सिंस देन दैट मस्ली हैज बीन टेकिंग के Though Masli is a father of two daughters and two sons, Masli not only took care of Pooja's well-being and education, but also took the responsibility of marrying her off with a man from the religion she belongs to. Masli made sure that the rituals of marriage are performed according to Vedic traditions. Magal kitta hechi kisa saakhi dhanano tandu nanna mani olaga. गुरुगाली के कर्षी, स्वामीगाली के कर्षी, विधा विधि विधारण करने पद्धति प्रकार अक्षत कारण वनु नानो राजोटी स्वाम गोले विश्व शुरु दिवाले याद अब स्वाम गोले नो कर्षी मत्ता नन्न हितेश्वर गाले युरुक्ष मुत्तियार बले आउर कड़ी इंदा वनानो साले एक तो कोण्डो ये वन बैठ गये। It is due to acts of kindness like these that prove that humanity stands above all religions and castes. Arts, crafts and cuisine of a place are said to be a reflection of the region's culture and lifestyle of its citizens. Regular organizations of exhibition plays a significant role in showcasing the art and culture of a region. Recently, an exhibition was organized in Srinagar city of Jimwin Kashmir, where traditional Kashmiri handicrafts and artworks were showcased. Intricate embroidery, wooden carvings and woven. As light as air, pashmina shawls, these are some of the features of Kashmiri handicrafts that are immensely popular all around the world. In order to showcase the beauty of Kashmiri handcrafts and handlooms, an exhibition was recently organized by the handicrafts department after the long pandemic break. Now the government has taken this step, 
ये बिल्कुल अच्छा हमारे क्राफ्टमैनों के लिए भी हमारे लोकल पब्लिक्स के लिए भी और हमारे यहाँ पास में जो गवर्नमेंट सेंटर मार्केट के शॉपकीपर्स उनको भी इसका बेनिफिट मिल, मिलेगा जरूर मिलेगा ऑर्गेनाइज एट कश्मीर हार्ट इन श्रीनगर सिटी अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ स्टॉल वॉज सेटअप शो केसिंग ब्यूटिफुल कश्मीरी गुड्स व पुट अप एट डिस्प्ले These stalls showcased a wide variety of artworks including wooden carvings, embroidery, papier-mâché, shawl embroidery, Kashmiri carpets and more. Artisans were happy to have been part of the exhibition as such exhibitions will be helpful in clearing their stocks which remain unsold due to the pandemic and will further promote their art form. हमारी इन्वेंट्री आर्टिसन की बड़ी पाइल अप हुई है तो हम अब जबकि कोविड सिचुएशन हमको थोड़ा सा अलाउ कर रही है तो उसमें हमने पहली कोशिश ये की कि यहाँ पे जो है अपने आर्टिसन को एक प्लेटफॉर्म दे इस प्लेटफॉर्म से जो है वो अपने इन्वेंट्री को डिस्पोज ऑफ करे और ये वन आउट इवेंट नहीं है आने वाले दिनों में ये जो है एग्जीबिशन चलती रहेंगी बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है क्योंकि एज एन आर्टिजन एक, आर, एक आर्टिस्ट को एक प्लेटफॉर्म मिल रहा है जे एंड गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से जो हमारे यहाँ जो हैंडीक्राफ्ट डिपार्टमेंट है इन्होंने इनिशिएटिव लिया है कि जो जो हमारा वोक, लोकल वोकल फॉर लोकल कैंपेन स्टार्ट किया है बहुत अच्छी अच्छी बात है यहाँ पे बहुत सारे आर्ट्स को स्टॉल्स को फरोख्त मिली है यहाँ पे आए हैं स्टॉल्स दिए गए हैं इट इज़ ड्यू टू एग्जीबिशन एंड डिस्प्लेज लाइक दीज दैट वॉट विल नॉट ओनली प्रमोट लोकल हैंड क्राफ्ट एंड इम्प्रूव लाइवलीहुड ऑफ आर्टिसन but will also help putting indian handcrafts on the world platform next we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section world in focus coinciding with the tokyo 2020 olympic and paralympic games the constant gardeners event is being organized at ueno on shi park The three-month long event is organized by Tokyo Metropolitan Government in association with artists from United Kingdom. In this event, the artists are four robot arms, the models are Olympic athletes, and canvas is a Japanese Zen garden. Analyzing the past video footage from across a wide range of sporting disciplines and events, the constant gardeners communicate and celebrate the motion and physicality in professional athletes. 東京東京フェスティバルなんですけれどもこちらはあの、まあ、あの今開催されている東京オリンピック・パラリンピックに合わせてですね、まあ、あのスポーツの面ばかりではなくて文化の面でも前盛り上げる、まあ、あの基本的にオリンピック・パラリンピックというのはあのカルチュラルオリンピアードということで、まあ、文化プログラムも実際にやっていくということがある程度規定路線になっておりましてあといろんな方にまあオリンピックにかかってもらいたいという趣旨で、まあ、文化プログラムをやってきてそれが東京東京フェスティバルという傘の中で今動いているということです。Four robotic arms work alternatively at a traditional Japanese Zen garden to draw an art to mark the Tokyo 2020 Olympic and Paralympic schemes. In daily performances, the gardeners collaborate to create 150 unique illustrations throughout the Olympics. Japanese traditional Zen garden has attracted the people with robotic artwork during the mega sporting event. The one thing that As the artist and the author of this work, I was really keen for people to experience if they could come here, which is obviously more difficult now, was to create a moment of calm, a moment of reflection, and a moment to meditate. Ueno Park is one of Japan's five oldest public parks known for spectacular cherry blossoms in the spring, Ueno Zoo, and many museums. Its history started in the Edo era about 400 years ago. The general of Edo government built a big temple here and an internal political war was developed. 150 years ago it is nominated as first official park in Japan. Ueno te wari to lekishi no aru tokoro desu kara chotto furui mono ga oi desu kere domo koi wa naka ma saishin no gijitsu tteu ka soi no ga kazatte awasatte omoshiroi to Tokyo Olympic and Paralympic Games is being held in the wake of the corona crisis. It expresses the direction of future path. The robotic artwork by Tokyo Metropolitan Government at the historical park sets a new pattern.
Buell Zoo in central France welcomed the birth of two baby pandas early on Monday. Female panda Huan Huan was cheered by zoo staff as they watched surveillance camera footage of her giving birth and later holding her babies. Zoo head veterinarian Baptiste Mulot said the cup seemed to be in good shape and said the birth was an incredible moment. Là, c'est un super moment parce que voilà, on a deux bébés. C'était déjà le cas il y a quatre ans, mais malheureusement, il y en a un des deux qui n'a pas survécu. Et là, pour l'instant, on a deux magnifiques bébés qui sont super éteints. Le premier qu'on a sorti, qu'on a pesé, le premier qui est sorti, qu'on a pesé, la qui est en couveuse. Il fait 149 grammes, donc c'est un super poids pour un, un bébé panda. Et le deuxième a l'air très vif dans les bras de maman, qui pour l'instant ne veut pas du tout s'en séparer et est complètement euh, bloqué sur son bébé. Donc on va voir, je pense qu'on va attendre un tout petit peu avant de récupérer le bébé. Wan Wan and her partner Wan Zi came to France on loan from China in 2012, and their arrival was held at the time as a sign of warning diplomatic ties between Paris and Beijing. While an adult female panda can weigh up to 125 kilograms, a baby panda weighs barely 120 grams at birth. Due to coronavirus pandemic, people are compelled to stay at home in Japan. This situation has brought in an unexpected trend. Japan's watch and electronics company Casio has launched an electric piano. It accelerates enjoyment of playing music instrument while staying at home. In the corona プラス、で、音の数があって、軽い。思ったよりも軽くってっていうところが決めてですね。ピアノぐらい可愛い。ピア、赤でって言ってもこの赤ってなんかそのなんかちょっと朱色っぽいっていうか、あれなのでどんな色にも部